Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has called on Russia to prove its accusations that Turkey is buying oil from Daesh. His call comes after Moscow alleged the Turkish military shot down a Russian jet last week to protect that trade. But Ankara says the plane violated Turkish airspace. The Turkish military has released audio recordings of the warnings it gave the jet, telling it to stay away from Turkey's border with Syria. Moscow has denied this version of events. Tuesday is the second day of the UN Global Climate Change Conference in Paris. Negotiators from 195 countries are attending the two-week event. On Monday, leaders talked about how they could cut emissions. Many people have criticised the annual conference, saying the previous 20 haven't produced significant emissions cutbacks. The least developed countries want to limit global warming to no more than 1.5 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. They say otherwise their economic development, food security, ecosystems and survival will be at risk. The people of Burkina Faso have elected Rock Mark Christian Kabore as their new president. The Independent National Electoral Commission says that with 72% of the votes counted, he's won 54% of the vote. Kabore is only the second civilian to hold the office since Burkina Faso gained independence from France in 1960. Elections were supposed to be held in October but were postponed when members of the elite presidential guard attempted a coup. The guard is seen as being loyal to former President Blaise Campoare, who led the country for 27 years. People around the globe have marked the 27th annual World AIDS Day. It's estimated that as of last year, 36.9 million people worldwide are HIV positive. And according to the UN's AIDS program, nearly 16 million people are being treated for HIV. That's an 84% increase from five years ago. And while AIDS-related deaths have fallen more than 40% in the past 11 years, about 1.2 million people still die each year. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com Istanbul.